This episode of Try This is rated AL for adult language. Go to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media. Support this channel by becoming a member and unlock the future of video, product reviews, travel, and more on Tilted Tripod Media. Click that subscribe button and welcome to the future of video. And smash the bell icon to be notified about weekly videos. Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on crappy products that just don't live up to their promises? Well, what are you waiting for? Try this. Introducing Arctic Air. This is liquid drywall. Introducing the Bavarian Edge. Welcome to the show where I save you time and money exposing shitty products. Welcome to Try This. Welcome everyone to another episode of Try This. Chris here and OMG, is that a white shirt I'm wearing? Holy crap. For those of you that don't know, I don't really like white clothing because it's such a pain in the ass to keep white. Not clean because I'm a very clean person and I can keep it clean, but to keep it that very bright white color. So to see me in a white of anything, anything white on me is just mind blown. Well, really, the only reason that I'm wearing this white shirt and the only reason I have this white shirt is the topic of today's video. Today's episode of Try This is fashion. I have these amazing jackets. Every time I wear them, I get stopped by like a million people and they're always questioning, what are those? And can I touch it? Can I feel it? And where did you get it? So I'm gonna answer all those questions right here, right now on Try This. So these jackets are made out of some kind of like vinyl. It's like a plastic and they're kind of see-through, you know, cause you can still see my face through it. Um, and that's really the reason for the white shirt because the bright white color makes the kind of transparent red or blue or whatever color, it makes the color pop. If you were to put black underneath of this, it would dull the color quite a bit. And of course, there goes my neighbor again, doing more yard work. <sighs> I've been trying to film this video for like months. I know I meant to do this a long time ago. I've had these since probably about winter time, um, like maybe December, I don't know, I lost track of when I bought these exactly, but um, they are amazing. All right, so I got these jackets from a place, or rather a lady called Domdrich, and I believe she's from the Ukraine, if I'm correct on that. I think Domdrich is how you say it. I don't know, but there, there it is if you can see that. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll just add a link to her website and all that kind of stuff so you can go check her out. Um, I found her actually through... I think it was Etsy. Yes, Etsy is where I found her. Um, her stuff is amazing. She makes all kinds of this vinyl clothing. Um, I think she's starting to branch out into some other stuff. But um, anyway, so I did customize these a little bit. And she does take custom orders to where, you know, I told her I said I wanted this black edging on the pocket. And it's got this pocket that, that zips and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. It's time to put on the red one and show you how it looks fashion model time. So the one thing that I really love about her work she has like this insane attention to detail. I mean, even look at just the little, um, I don't know if that'll focus, but it's got the little D on it for um, Domdrich or however you say her name, but um, that's just real good attention to detail. And I mean, the stitching is real strong. I have not had any problems with these jackets. The only thing I can say is if you're not careful and you don't wear them in the correct weather, you will sweat, but it does have these um, little eyelets or grommets or whatever you want to call them in the armpit area so that way some air can get inside. Um, I have had a few um, issues like once or twice with condensation on the inside but I think it was just really humid that day. Anyways this is how the jacket looks. How do you like it? I think it's fantastic and I just love the high shine and the it makes kind of this um, 
that's kind of the, the noise it makes when you're moving. I wish it was a lot more crunchy because if you know me, I love crunchy outfits, just like the ones that go <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah. I know I'm so weird, but anyways, so um, yeah. So this red jacket, I would say, is probably more of a cross between like a like a dress shirt or a leather shirt. I'm not really quite sure. I mean, it zips and dress shirts don't zip, but then it's kind of, you know, the sleeves and whatnot are like a dress shirt. I, I don't know. Ugh, there goes my neighbor again. Oh, this is so annoying. Well, you know what, guys? We're just going to have to prevail through all of this crazy, obnoxious lawnmower bullshit just freaking get a robot already come on i have one get one you've seen it i know it works rant over so here's a little bit more of that attention to detail because not only did she use just she could have just used one piece and i think she did use just one piece of material but she made it look like separate panels are stitched together and i don't know if this is going to show up and excuse if I bang on the microphone a minute, you might hear some ridiculous noises, but here's a close-up of the, the stitching. Did you see it? I think it came out. Now it's time to check out the blue one. So this blue one is standard. I really didn't have her do anything um, special or custom to it. Um, it's just a blue kind of clear bomber jacket style. Um, I did, however, add these little eyelet grommet things on afterward, if you can see those, um, throughout different areas of the jacket because I noticed this one fogged up a couple of times and I was trying to kind of fix that. Um, it seemed to kind of help somewhat. Just don't wear it in a super humid climate and wear it in the winter time and you'll be fine and styling and everyone will ask you where in the world did you get that crazy outfit oh yeah it's definitely a showstopper Yeah, so this is the blue one, and I absolutely love it. The color is spectacular, especially on a nice sunny day. It's kind of got overcast. I was like, oh, yeah, it's sunny today, finally, and then now it's not sunny. So I was just like, well, at least it's not freezing cold and it's not raining. So it's been doing that a lot um, over the last month or so in Ohio. So um, also, again, the attention to detail, even on this one with the little D. Um, I just, I love it, and like the little stretchy sleeves and the stretchy collar and the bottom is kind of stretchy and there's some more of those um eyelets that i put on there or grommets whatever you call them just for some some air and whatnot so yeah this is what it looks like with a white t-shirt underneath of it um i'm going to show you it with a couple of different things underneath of it this is just to start with the white so you can see how that would look
So this one's a very, it's a great casual jacket, something funky if you wanted to go out to like the nightclub or just partying or really I just wear it on an everyday basis just because I love the way it looks. It's just spectacular. Um, this bright, shiny, translucent blue color and whatnot. And it's quite durable. I mean, that's some very durable material there. That is not going to, you know, and I've been, uh, I've been wearing this a lot during the winter months. See, I knew there was more than one reason as to why I was waiting to do this video, because winter time, duh, and I wanted to show off these outfits with nothing on underneath of them and with something underneath of them. And that would be really cold if it was winter time still. That would be, woo, freezing. So here's what the blue one would look like. Ooh, it's quite cold when you initially put it on against your skin. I mean, it is plastic. Oh, it's really cold, actually. But um, you can see how it got a little bit darker because my skin is not as bright. I don't know maybe if that doesn't show up on the camera, but um, obviously the white t-shirt is a brighter color and it reflects more, more light um, back through the jacket. But here's what it looks like. One, two, three. All right, and here's what the red one looks like with nothing underneath of it. So yeah, it's still a nice bright red color. Um, obviously, if I put something darker on underneath, it would get darker, um, but yeah. Oh, and for those of you that might be a little bit more on the shy side and be like, oh, my body parts might be showing. We're not talking about the private areas, but um, you can see, I don't know if you can see exactly, that's about how um, transparent it is right in there. You can see a little bit, but eh, doesn't bother me. So yeah, that was a look at these amazing jackets. I will put links in the description below if you would like to go and purchase one of your very own jackets from her. Um, I believe I paid right around $80 to $100 for these, which really isn't that bad because it's a handmade jacket out of this really um, durable plastic vinyl material. So yeah, it's expensive, but I mean, you get what you pay for. So. Um, anyways, go check her stuff out, and if you liked this video, then go on over to patreon.com slash tiltedtripodmedia, join and become a member, and get all the benefits of being a member. Exclusive content, early access, and so much more. Then you need to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon here on YouTube so that you don't miss anything here on Tilted Tripod Media. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.